hello everybody and uh, welcome to the video my name is samil shah and now i'll be covering some advanced topic in delta lakes right so the topic that i'm about to cover here is today is basically you have a delta lake in my previous past videos i have essentially showed you how to insert update delete uh, you know read from delta lakes right uh, using PySpark, we also did the same example using a glue connector. Now let me cover some 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 topics here, right? So uh, the the topic that I'm trying to cover here, and first I would like to share my screen shortly. Uh, let me see. Just trying to open my S3 here quickly. Okay. So let me share my screen. So again, you have a Delta Lake, and you already have all these files, right? Again, assumption made here is you have a Delta Delta Lake, and you have all these bigger a uh, lot of Parquet files, right? Now, if you have studied and if you know, right, uh, when you want to run queries, right, the bigger the file, it's better for Athena, right? Smaller files are not much efficient for Athena to query. So, you know, larger files essentially are much better for re re reading purposes, right? So what I want to do is these Parquet files that are there, right? These multiple Parquet, I, maybe I want to just have like two or three or like 20 Parquet files, right? So that's what we're going to learn in this video, okay? You have a Delta Lake and I want to reduce the number of Parquet. So there is two operation that we need to do is first we need to do, uh, again, I'll show you the code shortly. Um, so first of all, I want to comment out this and explain you what, what all this is. Again, in my previous video, we have done all this stuff, okay? So what I did is basically, I I basically have a, you know, some dummy data, right? And I'm essentially inserting, uh, you know, that dummy data into a Delta Lake. Again, I have a method called insert record that inserts data into the Delta Lake, right? And then essentially I'm updating something and then I'm essentially deleting an employee where the ID is for. Again, these are just simulating some CRUD operations. So I'm just gonna comment out that. And this is again, just to explain you, um, you know, a little bit before. So let me comment out all these stuff. Again, after running this code, uh, you know, these files are there on the um, S3, right? Again, uh, assuming that you already have a Delta Lake and you wanna essentially have less number of files, right? So what you need to do is basically, I wrote a method called compact table. Uh, so if you click here, it takes the number of files. What it does is basically it will read the uh, uh, data from the Delta Lake, as you can see, spark.read.format. We're saying Delta, then we load, then we repartition, then we write that into, again, uh, into the same location as you can see here, right? So this one right here is gonna essentially uh, repartition your Delta Lake. So what's gonna happen is this 12 files is gonna uh, be converted into two files. But again, these 12 files are still gonna be there because if you know the way Delta Lake works, the previous version are also gonna be there. So those 12 files will be there and the newly generated two files will be there, which will be, uh, which is what we're gonna query from Athena. But I wanna also delete those older 12 files, right? So again, that's when you can come here and read uh, this beautiful article that I was, uh, that I'll show you. Uh, I don't have it handy here, but it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it in the description later on. So basically, uh, if I had to explain you in paint, right, a very simple way, right? So what I'm trying to explain you, right, you have these 12 files, right? right? Now, I want to essentially only have two files. I don't want 12 files, right? So when I run the job, right, it's going to total number of files on S3 will be these 12 files, which were version one. And now I have the, the two files, you know, the optimized file, which is version two. So total I have essentially, if you see 14 files now, right? What I wanna do is I wanna delete this older one, right? That's what I wanna do. So there is a method called vacuum. Uh, so if you come here, I have essentially done that. So delete older files, I have a vacuum and I'm using dot uh, here zero. So this is gonna basically delete all these older files. And then I will only have these files over here in my Delta Lake. To show you in action everything, right? I'm gonna show you how, how everything works. One important note that I wanna make sure that you guys uh, understand. Uh, when you are running uh, the vacuum as zero, uh, you know, again, uh, uh, they clearly say do not set spark. Again, we need to set a variable here and then I'll read that shortly. So here you can see I did set that to false. So here they say do not set spark dot data breaks dot delta dot retention duration check enabled to false. Now why they are saying that, right? 
so when you are doing that right when you say dot vacuum zero right ideally databrick databrick recommends you to have at least put that to seven days right but if you're gonna put zero and if you do wanna prune the older version which we are doing right now right make sure that basically uh, make sure that at that moment when that job is running all right make sure you're not inserting anything new updating or deleting this is very important and again it's given on their official documentation so again an assumption is made uh, when i'm doing this pruning job right at that time there is no insert updates or delete happening on the delta lake okay so now let's let's see an example right so i'll run these two methods and again then i'm gonna run my manifest file so i'll copy this i'll head over to glue paste this here click on save and then I'll uh, start the job. So again, uh, observe carefully what's gonna happen. As I, as I said, right? There are these 12 files. After running the job, um, again, I have specified that I need two files, right? So the two new files will be generated. Total, there will be 14 files. And then I wanna delete these older 12 files. So essentially, I'm setting the vacuum to zero, uh, as I showed you, right? But again, make sure during that time, you know, no insert update deletes are happening at that time, right? Uh, ideally, as I said, Databrick uh, recommends you to have like seven days or, you know, or, you know, greater than seven days at least. So yeah, just a note, okay? In case if you want to set that to zero, right? So, so sharing my screen. So the glue job is running uh, at this point. So let's uh, refresh. This might take about a minute or two, right? And you can come here and read, you know, further, you know, there, there's a lot of nice uh, article and material, you know, given here. So, uh, you know, again, they have written everything pretty well, you know, uh, they have given everything, every, every, every single step here, right? So again, what we did, just, uh, re, uh, you know, just uh, telling you the steps. Basically, the Delta Lake was already there. We have a lot of files in the Delta Lake. I want to run a job that will take those uh, smaller parquet files and will convert into a bigger parquet files because those files are much better for my read queries, right, uh, from Athena because I can save more cost, it is much more faster, right? Again, this is given on, you know, um, uh, Athena's website. So if you if you come, like we also like did, a, just wanna show you quickly. Uh, again, I have a on my website, how we got 50 time performance on the data like so here. If you come and read this LinkedIn article uh, that I wrote, is this the one? Yeah, so if you see, you know, um, you know, parquet files versus, you know, without parquet files, we did all this analysis here, right? Uh, again, we read all these articles and it, it clearly states from all these that, you know, smaller files are not good for query purposes, right? As I said, um, there was a beautiful article actually by uh, Amazon if I can find that and I would just want to point that uh, here, observe this line here. 5,000 files took 8.4 seconds, one file took 2.3. So 72 times faster. So having less files uh, will help you in faster Athena queries and will allow you to save costs, as I said. So I'll leave this article as well in the description if needed. So now I'm gonna refresh here. Okay, the job is successful, okay. now. If I go to my data, like observe it's 12, okay, I'm gonna refresh. Look, now it's only two parquet files, right? Um, and this older one, so again, what happened, again, as I said, right? So here we had 12 files. Then we said, I wanna, you know, have only two files. So total on S3, I had these 12 and then these two, right? So this was my version one, this is my version two on the Delta Lake, right? Then what I did is essentially I, ra I ran a vacuum zero and essentially I deleted all these one. So now I'm left with these files over here. So that's basically what I did. And now if I query from Athena, I should be seeing the same result, of course. Again, uh, same, everything works. I was able to update that. And now I have two, so now I essentially have two parquet files instead of all these smaller parquet files. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, video. I'll leave the source code in the description. If you want, please check that out. I'll also leave the previous video where I talked about a basic CRUD operation on Delta Lake, such as insert, update, delete, right? In the next upcoming videos, we're gonna um, explore further topics on Delta Lake, such as how do we restore a previous version, right? How do we roll back essentially? All that stuff you're gonna learn, okay? So all that stuff in the next video. 
If you really enjoy all these amazing contents on my YouTube channel, please make sure to hit a like and subscribe and make sure to share the video with uh, your colleagues uh, and you know, I hopefully they will also find value in this. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next upcoming video.